goodies right here from Vibrant, Summit, and Amazon. Well, all of them came through Amazon, except for that from Summit. But um, this is to build and design our own custom exhaust. So Jeff's loading up the cutting wheel right there so we can make some cuts. Let's go ahead and open all this up and show what we're working with. Okay, so we got the car all jacked up so we can work under here. Now we're going to get the mid pipe off and start trying to shape our exhaust. And we just want to have a nice, it's pretty dark under here, but there's the mid pipe. A single exit that comes down, goes straight back, and goes right out the passenger side. Nice straight shot. Should be pretty easy, especially with the way that all this is working here. Mm -hmm. So take for example this is a nice like 45 degree angle right or mandrel bent and you can tell right here that it actually flares out a little bit and this side doesn't this is going to be the muffler and these are flared out so you can literally just slip it in just like that and you can keep on slipping them in instead of having to consistently keep them like aligned or whatnot they'll literally just sit like that and we can kind of get it set up and not really have to get underneath the car and tack it in place then keep on going we kind of will have an idea we can just mark it like okay it's lined up right there and we're good um, I have a question yes how do you think we're gonna bend these hangers they're enormous yeah I was looking at these these are <laughs> bigger than they look huh yeah they're way bigger than they look online um, Well, if we had a acetylene torch, we could heat them up and just... I think that's the way it's supposed to be done, is probably with the torch. Don't you? Yeah, but we don't have an acetylene torch. Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, so our rough plan to keep things simple is to take this existing mid pipe, cut it open so we can use the flanges, and then get this resonator in there. So we got this metal cutting saw blade and eye protection. We're going to give it a rip. Okay, so we got that mid pipe cut. Yep. As we said, the uh, resonator just slips right over. So, Jeff, are you just going to tack it right now? Yeah, I'm just going to tack it right now. Just going to tack it? Okay. Yeah.
So finished welding it up, not my best. Um, we're using flux core, um, gasless wire, uh, stainless steel. Something I've never done before, let alone done stainless steel in the first place. Um, I had some good runs where we start flowing and all of a sudden it started going to globular transfer and it's really difficult to manage. But it sealed all the way around. Um, there's some high spots that start grinding down a little bit. But it should be good to go if we, if we can bolt this up and start up the car and see what it sounds like with just a resonator. Mm, good idea. Just to see that difference. But uh, it's really hot, so hang on Wait a second. A second. Okay, cool. So, we went outside and instead of trying to bend up these crazy thick solid hanger rods because we don't have a torch or anything, um, we just salvaged some of the hangers off of the old eBay exhaust. So we'll clean these up and mark them and weld these on to hang it. We should just need this set of three, two for the rear muffler and one for the middle of the long assembly. Now. Jeff was trying to get this bolted up, but he's a big boy. He can't fit under here, so no. I'm like, <laughs> I might be. No, I'm not stuck, but it's it's not. Don't the panic. Most fun. Don't panic. I'm not. All right, so I'm gonna slip under there, bolt up that mid pipe with the resonator, and we're gonna see how different it sounds. <sighs> like a glove. Like a glove. Okay, I'll hand the camera off to Jeff and bolt this thing up there. Are we going to take these right off to weld the rest back up? Yes, we are. Is this step worth it? Yes, it is. Well, that, but also we need to have it up here so you can keep on mocking stuff, you know? Yeah, that's true. We need to basically keep this up here until we're ready to tack the rest into place. But. All right. So we crack the door so we don't die from fumes. Let's crack the hatch and pop the latch. Okay, that's a good one. Please don't run out of fuel. You ready? Yep. That's a big difference. get it too hot <laughs> yeah but yeah that, that actually changed it a lot sure did sure did wow that's cool all right let's keep going yep next is a straight shot so what you working on I'm kind of estimating the angles here to get this all lined up it's our first time doing an exhaust but you could get this kind of something like this. I have to, yeah, so like, I need to cut it, you know, like up here so that this Y can reach into this tunnel where this other one's coming from. Right. Can you see that on camera? Yes, you can. Okay. So it's going to go straight back to there, 45 through here to this Y, come underneath, and go back to where the muffler is. Oh, there it goes. Cut it right about along here, some anywhere around this scribbly line. Okay. Will work. Where the cap? This one, hefty, hefty muffler. It is. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Ooh. I wonder what's in there. Doesn't look like much. It's not a glass pack, is it? No. It's just straight through. It's just got these baffles that are gonna, I guess, suck the sound out of it. Suck the sound out of it. Uh-huh. So she cut through it really easy. So Jeff was just explaining this is thinner. 
than that first chunk of Chinese pig iron. Yeah, at look thing. look at how thick that is right there. Yeah. And then compared to this. Yep. Yeah, that's a huge. Weight, weight reduction. Yeah, weight reduction definitely. So now we're headed out with the beefy boy muffler to do some more welding. We put some marks here where we're gonna tack on our exhaust hangers so we can have a finishing point that we're leading to with all of our piping. So back to Maestro Jeff and his welder. Jesus, dark out here. Yeah, it's dark. All right, so Jeff got two hangers tacked on here. So we're gonna go ahead and get it mounted up. Get it mounted up underneath here, and then go from there. So sorry about the lighting, but yeah, we got it hung up in there. And it's, it's actually pretty nice and centered. So now we have a finishing point so we can aim all our piping at that and see where we're at. Okay guys, so I know the lighting's not that great, but you can see the pipe coming along here. And Jeff's back here, he's got the exhaust. We have a 45, if I can look under the wheel. Not really. But we're going to cut this straight length of pipe to mate that up and then we should be there so here we go hey, hang on hang on before you start you're forgetting one thing huh where are your sandals i don't need to deal with those after i stepped on that <laughs> nail basically the other day <laughs> okay All right, guys, I got some more lighting down here for you so you can see what we're looking like. So here you can see the resonator that we put in, down pipe right over here, straight shot back. Comes up here to a 45. Now all this is just slid in together uh, with the piping that we showed you earlier. Comes back here to another straight, back to 45. Where Jeff is with another 45 holding that up and then back to our already hung muffler. Now since the car is jacked up this suspension is at full negative travel so we're able to get clearance from the axle. Let me see maybe better angle this way yeah. So clears under there and clears the tunnel below. So now what do we gotta do? Mark it all so we can take it out back and weld it? Uh, yeah, we should also mark where we're gonna put another hanger, wherever there's oh, a little right. hanging bobber. Right, we need to do a hanger first. Um, but I'm looking at where the hangers are. I don't see another one. There's one up here just out of your sight, so I'll go ahead and mark that so we can get that on there. Okay. You ready to weld? Yep. Okay, cool. So, here is our creation. Looks pretty straightforward. Nice straight shot. Hopefully we'll quiet things down a lot. You already heard earlier with just a resonator. Now going through to this muffler. So Jeff graciously is going to begin to start welding this all together. Just to show you guys all we did, as you can see here as we marked this lip where it meets up with the little slip joint and I put some marks there so that we know it's lined up correctly and we've done that for each location so Jeff can double check it before he puts it together so let's get to it yep so I'm gonna have a, a weldy night thank you
Okay, boys and girls, and just like that, you have your very own custom single exit stainless steel exhaust. How do you feel about that? Well, it was really rough at the beginning because uh, especially with the flux core like we are going about earlier, all I did was make sure that it wouldn't punch through the metal with the settings, and then I just sent it. And it started out really rough, but as I went, each bead, you can tell it went rough, better, 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 and I haven't knocked the slag off that one yet, but a lot better. So yep, you can see how quickly he got better. Oh, look at this one. Starts looking really good. Well, it looks really good. And that one still has slag on it because it's still hot, so I'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit. Yeah, but. and that's with Flux Core. The super sparky, hot, difficult to use. But that's all we could use because we couldn't get gas. So for what's recommended if you're going to MIG stainless steel, obviously you need stainless steel wire, um, but you need Trimix, which is helium, argon, and CO2 combined. But since there's a worldwide shortage of helium, you can't just go to any welding shop and get it. And then second of all, to buy a bottle, like just a 60 cubic foot bottle with argon, is like five hundred dollars. And how much should we spend on this spool? Uh, Thirty-one dollars. Thirty-one dollars. So and there's even some still left on there for. And we bought this kit here for like a couple hundred bucks with the pipe. We have enough pipe left almost to make another exhaust or a part of an exhaust or repair an exhaust. We reused the hangers from another exhaust. And we got some nice vibrant parts in there. So hopefully this thing sounds great. You ready to try it out? Yeah, I think if we were to price it out, be somewhere what, in the $400 range yeah. or anything? Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds about right. Yeah, so I'm ready to bolt it up and see how our first exhaust sounds. Yep, let's check it out. All right, guys, welcome to the camera phone. <clears throat> Just want to use it because it has a nice light on it. Show you our professional job here. So here we go. But the downpipe comes down here, nice bolted up to a two bolt flange. And then we, Jeff welded this all together. So <clears throat> goes down here, looks great. Uses a stock hanger location, nice and tight, but clearance, nothing touches. Again, the suspension is as far down as it'll ever travel. Goes down and all the way back there to our beautiful vibrant muffler. So now we're going to fire it up and see how she sounds. Rotary cold start on new exhaust. Take one.
new exhaust. We'd like to say thank you for watching as always. Thank you, Jeff, for welding up the exhaust. This was a dope, dope project. Yeah, it was cool. And we finished it literally in less than four hours. Yeah. Like we did this way whole, less. Yeah. We took like a food break. We uh, you took, had your I took an interview phone call for like 30 minutes or more. Yeah, and, and we still we still did it. So that was awesome. Uh, please remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.